Today I'm going to show you how I made this 3D printed RC car completely from scratch. Every single part other than the electronics were 3D printed using the Bamboo Lab A1. And everything was designed using SolidWorks and a little bit of Onshape. I've been working on this project from the last 3 months. It's taken countless prototypes, hundreds of designs, and even more testing and prototyping to find out what works best. But before I show you how I created this car, I should go through the idea process and the YouTube videos I searched for inspiration and ideas. My first inspiration was this Tarmo 5 3D printed model by Antolio249. I really liked the aesthetics and the design of this car. It looked really nice and it was one of my first inspirations to start making this car. After seeing the speed and suspension of this thing, it really made me want to make my own car. Secondly, this video by Hamburger Inc. was a really important step for me on making this car. I learned a lot of stuff from the stuff he mentioned, from his mistakes, gear ratios, and suspension. He also linked his CAD design in his description, and I used his design for inspiration on some of my parts. For example, his wheel hub and steering arm is pretty similar to mine's. Finally, this great video from Michael Richin was by far my greatest inspiration to start this project. He included a ton of information about his cars, from the electronics to the mechanics, to the 3D printing parts, and just in general he had a ton of information and I found it really helpful when I was making my car. Now for the design phase of this project, I didn't really record myself creating these files, however everything was created in SOLIDWORKS. As you can see, the frame, the hubs, the suspension arms, even the electronic components were designed in SOLIDWORKS so I could put them in the assembly and see how they work. This is really important because you can see any mistakes you m might have overlooked or some clearances you might have not noticed. All the components were made in SOLIDWORKS. Some parts like the bearings or the servo motors, I just downloaded from online because they weren't really worth making. But everything else was designed from scratch. I then used Onshape to make the gears because I was having some weird issues with SOLIDWORKS gears maker. So I just used Onshape for these parts. As you can see, it was really easy to design the bevel gears and the normal spur gears on Onshape. After I finally completed designing everything in SOLIDWORKS, it was time to 3D print this on my Bamboo Lab and put it all together.
The clip you're seeing right now, I had only geared down the motor 1 to 3. Since my motor was really fast, it had way little torque, and this meant the motor could hardly push its own weight. So I had to gear it down 1 to 27. I also had to replace the suspension because the green one you saw in the clips were so soft, it would bottom out at its own weight. So I replaced them with some more powerful ones from Amazon. After all that, I had a fully functioning RC car, that could rip through the grass, ground, asphalt, and anywhere you could think of. While I was testing its max speed, I did a way too sharp turn, and this caused it to flip. Luckily, nothing much broke, only the wheel connector snapped, and I replaced them in like 20 minutes. After a lot of testing, I got a maximum speed of around 35 to 40 kilometers per hour. Overall, it's pretty stable and it runs pretty good. I'm gonna try reducing the gear ratio a bit and hopefully it'll then be able to go a bit faster. And that's pretty much it. This was the best project I've made yet and I really enjoyed it. If you guys want to make this for yourself, I'll link all the CAD files and the links where I bought the motors and other components from in the description. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and probably share it with some of your friends. Thank you.